Hey guys. So I'm working on the truck again. It's Saturday morning, I guess. And that might look a little odd. Uh, that's because that is two switches in one. That's the original brake switch. And basically an original switch is a uh, mistake uh, I made, but I had another one. And uh, basically I cut the uh, tail end of the uh, switch, original switch off and I made it so that it uh, slips over this. I'm going to glue it and uh, operates the uh, original pl or the uh, plunger in the new one there. And it'll mount in the original location, no modifications, correct uh, wiring harness and all, so we're good to go. Although I did have to because it was the opposite, um, working the opposite of what the original switch was doing, I did go through the harness here and I swapped these sets of wires around to the opposite because uh, this set is normally closed and the set is normally open and I needed it to be reversed because this is going to be compressed when the brake pedal is uh, is released as opposed to uh, compressed when it's uh, depressed like it was in the van. At least that was my interpretation of the way it worked. Um, if that ended up being wrong, well then I can just swap those back, but no big deal. So I got to get me some epoxy and I've got some cyanocrylate, like the crazy glue, uh, but I'm not that confident that that would work. I'd like to pin it, but there's no, obviously no way I can do it without interfering with the shaft, so I think I'll just glue it. I'll just try and line it up well enough that it's going to work, but uh, I think it'll work fine. Just hope it'll hold together. And like, uh, Obviously, when that pushes down, it would tend to push that out of there, so... Uh, we'll see how we go with that, but uh, I'm going to get some epoxy, gloop the hell out of it, and then we'll uh, probably go back to the harness here. I keep forgetting every time I, I go anywhere near a hardware store to go and get me some bolts to uh, retain this, and for some reason I don't have quarter inch by two and a half, so i got to go and find some other ones. Uh, so I guess i got to go into town anyways. So I'm going to pause you guys for a while, and then we'll come back to this in a bit. Hey guys, uh, I forgot to mention, uh, the other day I got a letter from California and a nice note and, uh, and a sticker from uh, John Kerry. So that was uh, nice of him. I'll, uh, when I finally get my, uh, my uh, sticker wall going, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll put that up and I'll, uh, I'll have to send one off to him uh, as well at that time. I still haven't figured out what I'm doing for a sticker. But uh, we'll do something eventually. This is the ADD garage, so it's hard for me to focus on it. Um, oh, I left my gear inside. Um, I did go and I picked up uh, my epoxy in that. And uh, so I am going to go grab that, glue this thing together. And uh, I see somebody's come for a visit. Yes, I'm not ignoring you. Uh, I'll get that stuff, get this glued together, and then we'll do some work on the uh, installing the harness in the truck, and uh, probably wrapping a lot of it as well. I think I'll unwrap all the old tape off of it, and uh, rewrap it once it's in the truck. It'll be a bit of a hassle, but uh, then I'll, I know all the wires are where I want them to be. So I'll get to that. Okay, so this is what I'm working on right now. I'm, uh, I've got the harness in the cab of the truck and I'm just rewrapping the, uh, the harness under here. I'm gonna have to pull the fuse panel back out so that it can rewrap closer into there, just cause uh, it, you know, it's not that convenient that way. But if I had one recommendation, uh, I've been using uh, this stuff. It's uh, hockey tape. It's uh, water resistant uh, and it's actually a lot thicker than uh, than any kind of electrical tape and I think it gives a I think it looks better quite frankly but uh, nevertheless you know it does a good job of wrapping joints crisscross you know, up and around kind of thing I can't see because of my hand there you go that's what I'm talking about and uh, I think it'll protect the wire a lot better than electrical tape would or just leaving it alone basically so anyways, I'm going to, I've got to extend a couple of wires. These are the ignition wires. I've got to extend them so I can't wrap anything there, uh, there and downstream. And uh, I have to extend the wires from, this is the dimmer switch, and it's got to go all the way down there and there. You know, they might reach to the bottom of the fuse panel and that'd be the closest they'd get. 
There are a couple of other electrical things they got to do, like the uh, e-brake has a uh, has a sensor to, uh, or then that van had a sensor that would uh, tell you that the brake was on, and uh, I'm going to just add a micro switch here, and all it does it just grounds out that line, and uh, it'll tell you if the e-brake is on. And uh, I don't know what else I'm doing here. Yeah, most of the other stuff wrapped up. I haven't done any downstream stuff down to the heater and to where the radio should be. But I'm going to leave that for the moment because I'm going to put in a uh, uh, a stock style of uh, lighter in here and I have to wire that in. Which isn't too hard because obviously there's the, the lighter out of the uh, van that was there. But this lighter actually has a light on it. So I'll have to tap off the loom somewhere upstream. Probably around here somewhere. Because uh, I know that this fella here is a panel light, so I'll wire it up to the same thing as that. I'll just bring it back in the loom so I don't want to wrap this and then have to unwrap it and rewrap it. Otherwise, it's going well. You know, I've got to work out a way to strap this up into here so that it's not riding on top of it. It wouldn't really matter that much, but just out of neatness sake and to keep the loom from moving too much, I'll. Uh, I'll strap it up there somehow. I'll figure out how to do it later. I'm not too worried about it right this second. Apart from that, I think that that's probably all I'm going to be doing today. I'll bring you guys back if I do. If not, thanks guys for watching. It's much appreciated. Love the comments. Uh, uh, not the negative ones so much, but uh, hey, I, I can try to be big about it. Or ban you. Later, guys. Hey guys, just an afterthought about the uh, hockey tape. I expect that it uh, has absolutely no electrical value. Its total value is in just how well it protects the harness from any kind of a abrasion. So just a little note there before somebody gets all uh, excited and, uh, and doesn't use the proper insulation. This is just protection I'm looking at it as, not as uh, electrical insulation. Anyways, later guys.